Anyway, do you need some help setting up any decorations? I have all of our stuff over at that desk. I pointed over at said desk and Yuri nodded. I would really appreciate it. Thank you, Finn. Oh, and nice hair, Kennedy Coon. Really? Welcome back to another video. Now, I've been thinking to myself, with all of the Doki Doki mods I played so far are, well, Sayori focused ones and uh, a little bit of Natsuki, but we don't count Natsuki and Chill considering how uh, questionable that is. But uh, maybe in the future I might play a, um, a proper Natsuki focused mod like uh, Exit Music Redux or other ones that I don't know because considering that Natsuki is my second favorite and of course you guys know me that I love Sayori which will always be my number one. Lately I've been thinking about Yuri. You know the sophisticated one who is an introvert and of course uh, very shy and all that jazz but of course uh, she makes really interesting um, poems to say the least. I mean like I said she's so she's very sophisticated, very detailed and the smart one and of course liking horror and all that jazz. I've been thinking to myself oh, why not check out this mod called Tropical Rain by Savior and um, I remember that one conversation in the r slash DDLC mods where he recommended me to play that and I jokingly said I will when I'm done with Blue Skies so uh, here I am and uh, well Yuri is, my, Yuri is my third favorite, uh, just to let you guys know. And don't you worry, Monica fans, I'll definitely get into Monica mods when I feel like it, but uh, she's my uh, my my fourth, so uh, I'm sorry, Monica fans. So uh, yeah, um, hope you guys uh, enjoyed this one, and we'll see how this mod will go. So, you guys know the drill, and what time is it? It's Doki Doki time. Okay, tropical rain and oh man, this music. All right, um, let's we'll just get started anyway. Chapter one, festivities. I also forget to mention that I already entered in my name. So they say that high school is the best years of your life, but they also say that they're the worst. And I'll say that my high school years were, well, interesting. They were interesting. Uh, I'll never be able to forget them. I'd say mine was okay to say the least and uh, it's somewhat of a mixed bag. It was the day of the festival. Every year my school held a festival in November. It wasn't anything too big though. All it was, it was a chance for all for the clubs to show their stuff. And being in a club myself, me and the other members were going to show our stuff. Of course, Lurcher. The club I was in? The Lurcher Club. Hold your laughs. I was never really interested in literature and only really stayed for the girls. But eventually, I began to appreciate it. Although, back on topic the festival. We were all p asked to pitch in, but I w was kind of I was kind of the one on one <laughs> odd one out, I'm sorry. So I ended up having to help one of the other girls. I ended up choosing a shy girl named Yuri and we had a good time making decorations. But enough thinking. Sitting up in my bed, I began to stretch my arms. So I'm going to get ready. I threw the covers off my body as I slunk out of the warm embrace of my mattress. Oh, memory foam. You're too good for me. <laughs> so, throwing open the door to my bathroom, I grabbed a towel from the rack and opened the door to the shower. I turned it on and waited for it to warm up. Ah oh, yes, I kinda seen this bathroom before. Let's not dwell on it too much. When I got to my preferred temperature, I entered. Uh. I should comb my hair today. Yeah, I should look nice for the festival. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be going up and presenting. I can't look like a dirt ball. That would reflect poorly on the club. Uh, and on me, but most importantly, on the club. I don't have much of a reputation to uphold. I can't look like a dirtbag tomorrow. 
I turned off the water, grabbed my towel, and I dried myself off. I grabbed- I, I wrapped the towel around my waist and stepped out of the shower. Need clothes. Uh... After a quick change of clothes, I was back in the bathroom, staring at the comb I had borrowed from my dad. I don't think I've ever actually used one of these things. Uh... That's... Pretty sad. I mean, really, you gotta keep your hair on, uh, on straight and, you know, tidy and all that jazz, even though I'm wearing a hat right now. But you get the point. You, you really need to, uh, to look your best by using a, using a comb and, uh, make your hair look all nice. Combing my hair was a good thing or a bad thing, depending on how you look at it. There's Sayori, a girl who's been my friend since we were kids. Hey! Hey, Sayori, my cinnamon bun. <laughs> um, likewise, seeing her is always a treat to me because, of course, I freaking love her. But of course, for the sake of this mod, I'm just gonna tone down the Sayori simping a little bit, considering that well, I'm I'm going for Yuri in this one. But then again, alternate universes, am I right? You know the kind. The type of friend you wouldn't see yourself making in in any other circumstance? But that doesn't mean we're great friends. You don't keep a relationship like this going by just being acquaintances. Now, what does she have to say? You look like Leon Kennedy. Who the heck is that? Leon Kennedy? I Again, I'm no American, but uh, I think I may have to look who that, uh, who that is. Is that a compliment? Sayori giggled. A compliment, Finn. You look cute. Feeling my face heat up, I began to try and salvage the situation. I'm not cute. <laughs> oh, Sayori, what? You're trying to push the other uh, I'm not cute Natsuki button again? I pointed my finger at her. You're cute. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. What the heck? Uh, thanks. Perfect 10 there, Finn. Really hit out of the park on that one. With our short conversation having come to a awkward close, we began to begin to walk to school in silence. After a minute of walking, I stared at the decorations I held in my hands. Uh... Yuri did most of the work, sure. But I enjoyed our time together. I hope we do eventually end up spending some more time with each other. Just the two of us. I grinned at the thought. Yuri is... well... different. At first, she's a little hard to talk to. But if you get her, get her talking about something she likes, it's like she becomes a whole different person. It's... it's charming. It's an interesting aspect of her personality, and I hope to see it more often in the future. Yep, I'm definitely not used to coming to school in my casual clothes. Oh, oh, that um, that nearly made me thought as to why Sayori is in her casual clothes as well. So, apparently, well, I guess some high schools do wear casual clothes, but in the uh, I don't know, I don't know if that's a thing in Japan, but at least uh, in this mod, but eh, again, I don't know though, because eh, it just kind of, you know, uh, ticks my mind or something like that. I'm thankful they led us for the festival, don't get me wrong, but I'm just not used to it. It feels too unprofessional. I've never been the most professional guy, but even I know when you should dress appropriately and going to school is not the time for band t-shirts and jeans. It's your place of learning, but today doesn't count so you can stop worrying, Finn. Jeez. I approach to the door to the club uh, slowly. Are you sure it's going to work? It's gonna work perfect. I open the door. I wasn't used to wearing casual clothes in school, but more so. Seeing the girls in their casual clothes made me a whiplash. Oh! Doki Doki Casual Clothes Club, I guess? <laughs> I mean, it's a... I, I mean, sure, we had to, like, you know, wear something a little different and all, but... Well, aside from our usual school uniforms, but seeing them in uh, in casual clothes is a, is a whole different thing, because... Um, 
I don't know, it just definitely sets the 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 mood or the atmosphere or whatever it is. It, it, they just look uh it just feels off or something or different rather. Monica especially. I figured she would have straight to, uh, tried to stay professional, but even if nobody else did, she was the professional type, Monica. Compared to someone like Natsuki and Sayori, who both were rowdy and different in her own ways, Monika was definitely more reserved. She was still fun to be around, of course, but she was a nice change of pace. As I thought about the situation, she walked up to me. Finn, good to see you. Did you finish your poem? Uh, yeah, I did. Let me pull it out. I began to take my bag off my back, as, but as I did, Monika put her hand up. Oh, no, no, no. I trust you. You don't have to show me. Uh, alright then. Anyway, why don't you go help Yuri with your guys' decorations? There's some other things I need to prepare before we start the actual festival. Alright, sounds like a plan. As Monica is turning around to walk off, she stops and faces me. Oh, and... Nice hair, Mr. Kennedy. Dang, her too. Monica walked off, uh, chuckling to herself. Who even is this guy? I shook my head and set down the decorations on a desk. After that, I walked up to Yuri, who was setting up her aromatherapy aromatherapy machine. There we go. Athero uh, aromatherapy. So, uh, what oils are you planning to on putting in the diffuser? Upon hearing me speak, she jumped. Finn. Oops. S sorry you scared me. Well, shoot. In that case, I should be the one apologizing. I'm sorry about that. She takes a deep breath. It's fine. Th thank you for apologizing. There's an awkward silence for a few seconds. So... Oh, you wanted to know what I was putting in my diffuser, right? After giving myself a high five for actually remembering the name, I nodded. Yeah, what oil are you going for? I chose to use vanilla bean this time around. It's a popular scent and I really enjoy. It's a popular scent I really enjoy and it promotes relaxation. Perfect for reading our poems, don't you agree? I do agree. Man, you really know your stuff, Yuri. I'm impressed. He looked rather embarrassed at the compliment. Th thank you. Anyway, do you need some help setting up any decorations? I have all of our stuff over at that desk. I pointed over at said desk and Yuri nodded. I would really appreciate it. Thank you, Finn. Oh, and nice hair, Kennedy Coon. Really? That was cute. But I still have no idea who that is. <laughs> OMC! Yeah, you read my mind. Oh my glob. I sighed internally, but I but went to grab the decorations. After around 20 minutes, the two of us finished setting up the decorations. And I will say, we had a pretty good time doing so. Laughing when the other says a joke, thinking when the other says something philosophical. Sure, we're at school and aren't exactly having one-on-one -on -one time together, but I'm already having a great time. Being with Yuri just makes my day better. She's so... she's so interesting. She's super god dang smart, uh, glob dang smart, always knows what to say, has interesting hobbies, and not to mention she's rather pretty uh i mean pretty funny <laughs> yeah all right yo well this looks um uh, this looks nice i don't know i think i kind of like this look this uh, this look for the uh, for the club room festival edition in this mod than the one in blue skies i don't know i i think this one just looks a lot more better than the one i saw in blue skies but eh who am i to judge different developer different teams but still i kind of like this look oh uh, did i uh, oops <laughs> oh, I, my hand just slipped 
It's finally time to start the festival. Upon hearing those words, we all got into position. We greeted the attendees as they walked in, although they didn't see although they didn't seem too interested in much other than the cupcakes. I cringed. Let's just hope I'm incorrect in my assumption. Okay, everyone. Upon hearing Monica say that, I set down the piece of paper on my de my poem was on. I think at this point I'm ready to go up and present. It's time we go up and present poems. Is anyone willing to bite the bullet and go first? Everyone seems to simultaneously get cold feet, save for... I'll go. Wait, you will? Uh, yeah, I guess. That's great. Okay, feel free to go up whenever you want, Natsuki. Monica grinned. No pressure. Yeah, because that helps me. Monica nodded, giggled, and walked back to and walked to the back of the room. Good luck, Natsuki. I'm rooting for you. Oh, uh, thanks, but I don't need any luck. I'm going to be the best public speaker ever. Just wait, just you wait and see. Natsuki smiled proudly, marching off to the front of the room to present her poem. I chuckled. Her pride and confidence sure reigned true. I stopped chuckling when she cleared her throat to begin to speak. This poem is called Making Progress. Natsuki cleared her throat and began to read. Uh... Have you ever wasted time when trying to start? You're left to wonder why there are thoughts from your heart. Although the ink on the page tells the state of mind. Uh... Colorful words and similes are too brittle. When the only colors are like crayons, showing my passions as they mean so little. Your canvas is immature. It's, it is not what a masterpiece defines. Uh, but I will take the colors of the crayon box and draw the lands by the sea. I will take the colors of the crayon box and shine the rays of my dreams. Uh, as I wake up tomorrow fully knowing that my crayons are treated for ink and become ever-flowing. I can be confident that my page truly represents me. Uh, until then, I will take the colors of the crayon box and build a castle with a pretty queen. I will take the colors of the crayon box and decorate the forest with the animals I see. Um, no more will I let down my thoughts and my heart. They will shine bright from the very start, and each poem will show that progress can truly be. Hmm. Natsuki stopped speaking and the room went silent. Wow, that was incredible. She did great. And the rest of the room seems to agree with me going off with a sudden raw uproar of applause. Natsuki blushed upon hearing her praise. She slightly bowed and slowly returned to the back of the room, a smile on her face. Wow, that's, that's actually pretty good, and plus, I didn't expect that there was going to be a, uh, a poem segment to that one, so I'd, I'd say kudos to that one. I, I really like that. So, guys, what did you think? I loved it. You did a great job. Monica instantly goes into analysis mode. There's definitely a ton of emotion here that feel I feel is absent in your other ones. The emotion was there, but I was but it wasn't fully realized. Although now that I've seen your progress, you can show and convey it better. Natsuki was frozen. Am I close? Uh you're right on the mark. Well, analysis aside, I think you killed it. I also really enjoyed it. It's clear you really know what you're doing. The type of writing that is not my favorite. But I did you did a swell job writing it and presenting it. And like Monica mentioned, there was a lot of emotion present, which I especially enjoyed. Good job, Natsuki. Wait, you actually liked it? Wait, is that really surprising? I didn't... Hey, chill out. I didn't mean anything by it. Of course you liked it. I wrote it after all. Yuri giggled. Of course. Hey, guys. I'm really glad you're all getting along. 
but one of us needs to go up and present. Ah, you're right. I guess I'll go then. Thank you, Sayori. Sorry for forcing your hand. It's alright. Alright, let's do this. The rest of the girls turned to face Sayori as she walked up to the front of her room. Upon being in front of everyone, she pulled out a piece of paper. Can she do that? Upon muttering this, someone whispered in my ear. Why not? Uh, I shrugged. Although, right when I, uh, when I did this, Sayori began to speak. Natsuki shushed me and I, and I watched on as my best friend began to read her poem. Sayori began by introducing herself, which isn't something that Natsuki did. Hi everyone, my name is Sayori, and my poem is called Piece of Paper. She cleared her throat. I'm standing in the sun, staring intently at the piece of paper. An empty, white as snow piece of paper. And at my hip, I prepare myself. It's time. No more, I'll do it later. Move my head, look over at the clock tower. Tick, tick, it goes, t mocking with its movement. I growl and focus back on the paper. Hand on its hip, it stares back. It wants my thoughts, my feelings. It wants my deepest, darkest secrets. Well, no. No, I say. I'll never tell you what flavor of popsicle I like most. Or what I like to spread on my toast. But this piece of paper is no laughing matter. Ice close. Thoughts. They swirl around like a whirlpool of imagination. They all want to burst out and put themselves on the paper. Determined. The paper refuses. Draw. Mind and hand do the work. Minutes, hours of sh waiting, uh, over in a second. Uh, my eyes open. It's dark. A desk lamp brightens my surroundings, like an angel in a world broken. On the snow-white paper, there it lies. A big blotch of pink of ink in from my pen. I slap a hand to my head. Sayori put down the piece of paper and give a bow. The audience, knowing their cue, gave their applause. I joined in. In all honesty, it was a nice poem, but I believe I like Natsuki's more. This one definitely gave me vibes of I don't know what to write about. That didn't make it a bad poem, though. I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I like it. I like it. I really do. Far from it, actually. But it just means I didn't enjoy it as much. Regarding the applause, she got less than Natsuki, but it was about equal. Seems me and the rest of the room shared the same sentiment. Uh, I will tell Sayori any of that, though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, I love her, but uh, still, it's, it's still a good poem nonetheless, and I like it. That would just make me an ass. Sayori picked up the piece of paper and returned to those of us sitting in the back of the room. Monica stood up from her seat and nodded to her and nodded to us. I would really like to discuss her poem, but we don't have much time left. I'm gonna go up now and be fast as possible. I shook my head. Don't stress too much. Take your time. It's okay. She took a deep breath and seemed to be thinking my words over. All right, thanks, Finn. I'll do my best. Monica walked off and over to the front of the room. She cleared her throat and began to present her poem. Hello, everyone. My name is Monica, and my poem is called Not Afraid. She cleared her throat as everyone else had done so far and began to read. It's different this time. I don't know what it is. The noise, the pain, the feeling of emptiness. Gone. Uh. Um. But it's... It's but a whisper in the wind now. What changed? Who changed? Everything seems the same. But nothing is. Correct. I'm happy. I'm overjoyed. This is exactly how I want it to be. But it's not right. Something changed. It's different this time. I don't know what it is. 
but I'm not scared. I stand tall at the differences. I stand up and I face them head on. I'm not afraid of change. And I'm not afraid to change. That was... confusing. I could hardly understand it, really. But it was Monica's writing style, so it was familiar. In a move I actually had not predicted, she received a grand amount of applause. It wasn't a bad poem, but surely a few people in here would be confused? But then again, Monica is rather popular. I don't want to say that's why she got the applause she did, but I'll imply it. Monica grinned and walked over and walked back over to us. So, who wants to go up next? If I don't go up, it's Yuri's turn. Yep, it's either her or me last, but we'll see. Would she want to go up now or later? I turned to look at her and she seemed to be panicking. I decided to speak up. I'll go. Great, thank you for speaking up, Finn. I nodded and stood up. As I walked up to the front of the classroom, I began to have second thoughts. But I stopped them. You can do this, Finn. You're a f <laughs> beast. And beasts don't let public speaking to them. Now, fired up, I faced everyone from my spot at the front. Well, if I'm a beast, then I surely hope I don't maximize in front of everyone. I cleared my throat and began to speak. Upon finishing my poem, I didn't get much applause. How about what I expected? I'm still new to this after all. But hey, at least it's the effort that, that matters. I walked back to the group and sat down. Once I did, Sayori came up behind me and whispered into my ear. Nice job, Finn. Thanks, but I think I... My voice trailed off as I looked over at Yuri. She seemed... Worried. Shit, she's probably super nervous, isn't she? I should probably help her out. That's what friends do, right? I got out of my chair and I walked over to her. Everything okay? Finn... Everything is, uh, fine. Bullshit. Is what I would have said had I been a heartless monster. Instead, I raised an eyebrow. I don't think that's true, Yuri. I kneeled down in front of her desk. What's up? She looked into my eyes, not looking any less nervous. I, uh... Mm, eh. What was that? Her, f her face flushed. I, uh, I'm really nervous. Yeah, thought so. Alright, so... Oh, that might work. Yuri, wait here for a second. She nodded and I went over to Monica. Is there a problem, Finn? Yeah, look, uh... I need you to distract everyone in here for a while. Just so I can talk to Yuri for a little bit in the hallway. What? But... Monica stopped and sighed. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Thanks. I walked back over to Yuri and tapped her on the shoulder. Let's go out for a bit. What? Why? I think you need some air. Uh, Alright. I grabbed her hand and opened the, the door to the classroom. I led her out into the hall and over behind a corner away from the other students. I looked around. The coast was clear. I turned to Yuri, who still seemed panicked. Alright, Yuri. You're nervous. Right? Uh, er, yes, I am. Quite so, actually. Alright, that's what I thought. So, hmm, that might work. Well, look, Yuri, I'm gonna try and help you. Is that okay? You can try. Good, she's okay with it. Alright, cool. I didn't want to force you or anything. Yuri nodded. Thank you, but I don't have any problems with you trying to help. I actually really appreciate it. I smiled slightly. Happy to help. But anyway, we don't have much time. I'm going to tell you my idea and I want your thoughts. Well, alright. What's your idea? When you go up to present, when you go up to present, I know it's going to be hard. You're not used to it. That's perfectly fine. But I want you to be strong. So for you to be strong, I want you to imagine something. 
hypothetical to say it simply. I want you to imagine that you're all you're doing is reading the poem to me. Y you? Yes, me. I want you to imagine you're reading the poem to me. I want you to forget about the crowd and focus on me. Actually, wait. Yuri, do you have your, mo your poem memorized? Of course. Why? I want you to read it to me. Y you mean uh, right now? I nodded. Are you sure you want me to do that? Yes, Yuri. I chuckled. I want to hear your poem. I want to hear what you put your heart and soul into. There's a silence between us for a few seconds. Yuri took a deep breath. Uh, all right. She closed her eyes and began to recite it slowly. It was beautiful. Yuri's poems are usually rather grandiose. Or grandiose. I, I don't know how to say that, I'm sorry. But this is a whole new level. The symbolism, while I sadly didn't understand most of it, was absolutely splendid. I felt smarter just hearing it. In her voice, her telling me her poem was like that of an angel reading me a bedtime story. It was incredible. She stopped speaking and opened her eyes. So, uh, how was that? I sat in stunned silence for a little bit. Wow. She really... Oh no, you hated it, didn't you? I never should have... No, Yuri. I caught her off. That was... That was incredible. Uh, uh, really? I nodded vigorously. It was amazing. Uh, right. Uh, okay. Thank you, Finn. It means a lot. You're welcome, Yuri. I walked over. I looked over at the clock on the wall. Though I think we should be heading back now. Shoot, I completely forgot. Do you think? I think we're gonna be okay. But most importantly, I think you're gonna be okay. I began to lead her back to the class. Just remember what I told you, all right? Just imagine I'm reading it to you. Exactly. Ah. Uh. So if you enjoy what you're watching and like what you're seeing, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe if you haven't already. It'll help me a huge bunch in making more content like this. And click on the bell notification to be notified. And if you want to play this smart for yourself, as always, link in the description below. And with that being said, thank you guys all so much for watching. Finn the Diamond Knight signing off. And I'll see you guys next time. And as always, stay awesome and have fun, fellow knights and adventurers.